Okay, in the second video, we're going to have a look at the set of numbers. So if you remember the type of numbers that we have, we've got the natural numbers, symbol n, we've got the integers, symbol z, we've got the rationals, q, we've got the real numbers, which is symbol or, and then we've got the irrational numbers, which is or less q. So we want to put them into a Venn diagram, the Venn diagram, I suppose, rather than the set of um, numbers. So. Okay, what does this Venn diagram look like? Well, it's going to look like this. So we're going to have, on the inside, we're going to have, we're just going to draw a few circles. That's all a Venn diagram is. It's a place where you can put something. So we have the natural numbers. And then on, I'll explain this after I draw it. Out here, we've got the integers. We've got for Q out here. And then we've got the real numbers out here. So here's our Venn diagram. I'll put or out there. So, okay, let's explain that. Well, all I'm saying here is that if you, see, if you look at the natural number circle, that's inside the integer circle. And every natural number is an integer. So that's the reason that the natural number circle, the natural number set, is inside the integer set. The integer set and the natural number set are both inside the fraction set. And that makes sense because every integer or every um, natural number can be written as a fraction. If I take the number 3, well, 3 is equal to 3 over 1, which is a fraction. If I take 0, which is an integer, 0 is equal to 0 over 5, which is a fraction, by the definition of a fraction, if you remember when we had that um, before in the previous video. So let's have a look. Um, say, if I write down these numbers, I'm going to write the number 3, minus 4, 1 over 2, 0 point, say, 7, uh, pi, the square root of 2, and let's see, we'll write 0. So where would those numbers go in the set? So the way we work it out, we always work from the inside out. So let's have a look at the first number, the number 3. So ask, ask yourself, is 3 a natural number? Yes, it is. So 3 is going to go into here. And if you think, if you look where it is, 3 is a natural number, but it's and it's in the natural number set, but it's also in the integer set, and 3 is an integer, it's also in the, the fraction or the rational number set, because it is also a fra uh, rational number, and it's also in the real number set, because it is a real number. What about minus 4? Well, minus 4, is it an integer? No, it's not. Is it an, or sorry, is it a natural number? No, it's not. Is it an integer? Yes, it is. So minus 4 is going to go in here. A half. Is a half a natural number? No. Is it an integer? No. Is it a, re a rational number, a fraction? Yes, it is. So a half will go in here. What about 0 0.7? So 0 0.7 might confuse you. you it's not a natural number, 0 0.7. It's not an integer. Is it a fraction? Well, 0 0.7 is a fraction because 0 0.7 can be written as 7 over 10. So it is a fraction. So 0 0.7 or 7 over 10 can go in here. What about pi? Okay, well, we know pi is an irrational number, so it's not a natural number. It's not an integer. It's not a fraction because any irrational number can't be written as a fraction. So pi is going to go in here in the real number. It is a real number, so it goes out here. The square root of 2 is the same. It's not a natural number. It's not an integer. It's not a rational number or a fraction. The square root of 2 is a real number, so it goes in the real number section. And 0. Well, zero, it's not a natural number. Is it an integer? Yeah, it is an integer. So zero goes in, in here. Okay, sometimes you see that diagram drawn a little bit differently. Sometimes it's drawn like this. So it's just not to confuse it. We have the natural numbers. We have the integers. So we have n. We have the integers out here. We've got uh, q, the rational numbers. And then sometimes what you'll see is, you'll see it drawn slightly differently, where we've got the real numbers here, but then sometimes there's an extra bit put onto the real numbers, and that's for the ration, the, the irrational numbers, so that goes there like that. So in our previous example, when we had, say, the square root of 2, even though the square root of 2 is a real number, it would go out here. So this this includes, this this section out here includes, the, is a real number, but it's, a, it's also where the irrationals go. So sometimes it, you'll get something that looks like that. Sometimes you get something that looks like that. Both of them are the same thing. 